I'm either going to really like this or completely dread making this video because the heat, the heat. <sighs> okay. What's up, you guys? It's makeup's out, and I look like a naked mole rat. No, wait, what? No. What's up, you guys? Makeup's out here. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, click the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. So, I got some products from Ulta. I am burning up. I have some goodies from Ulta. I went to the store. And I also got some stuff sent to me in the mail. Me and my cousin went to Ulta and picked up some stuff. And um, there were some things that, you know, I wanted to get. And yeah, so today I'm going to be using the products like as I go along with my makeup routine, even though I don't really have a routine. But before I start diving into the makeup half, I'm going to show you guys what I primed my face with. The first thing I did was I moisturized with just a regular moisturizer from Family Dollar. It didn't really matter to me. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but I'm holding this terribly. This. And I also use this proactive oil control, daily oil control. I also went in with my Maybelline Master Prime Blur and Illuminate. And it also has SPF 30 in here. I also use the Maybelline Instant Pore Eraser. And I also use the Too Faced Shadow Insurance on my eyebrows and my lids. Okay, so we're first going to dive into this first bag. This is going to be a haul slash use as I go kind of thing. So, yeah. All the other things that I don't have to do with makeup, I'm going to show at the end. So, the first thing I usually do is my brows. So, I got this NYX Precision Brow Pencil in the color Espresso. So, this is what it looks like. It comes with a spoolie on one end and then the other side just has the... And it fell out. Lord Jesus, get it together. It just has the product on the other end. I actually used the brow pencil a couple times. It's just that the color isn't dark enough for me, I don't think. But I like a gradient eyebrow. So the other color that they had that was darker than espresso was black. And that just was not going to work for me. My main reason for going to the Ulta store was to get a brow pencil, like I said before. The pencil that I had before I got my NYX pencil was this, was the Goof Proof in the number 6. Nope, number 9. In the number 9. And I like this, but it just, kept, it just kept crumbling every time I used it. And considering that this is a $24 eyebrow pencil, it's just... I'm not going to spend $24 just for it to end up on the floor. Okay, so I'm going to finish my brows off camera because I didn't get any concealer and I just used the NYX brow pencil. This isn't even the NYX brow pencil. I just used the NYX brow pencil to outline my eyebrows and yeah, I'm going to do my eyebrows off camera and then I'll be right back. Okay, so. Sorry if the angle changed at all, you guys. My camera battery died and I had to plug in my backup battery. Okay, so I'm back. The brows are done. And this is how they are looking. The next product I'm going to go ahead and show you guys is this right here. This is the Too Faced Lip Injections. Actually, it's called the Too Faced Extreme Lip Injections. I tried this three different times. The first time I tried it, um, this was over top of... Uh, lipstick a Fenty lipstick it was okay um there is a tingling sensation it actually says on the side of this you may experience a slightly intense tingle that can last up to five to ten minutes apply only within the perimeter of lips if applied on skin a temporary redness may occur if any discomfort 
is present. Remove and discontinue use. Keep away from children. But yeah, when they said an intense tingling sensation, they were not kidding. When I used this over top of the lipstick, it wasn't that tingly. When I used this without the lipstick, the intensity, real. I'm going to use it anyway, but if you guys see me making some crazy faces, throughout this video this is why this is what it looks like outside of the box I got the small one I believe this was let me pull up the receipt Aha, I kept it let's see okay there we go $14 this was $14 Okay, so now we're gonna get into the box. Is my eyes are showing no. Okay. Now we're gonna get into the box. I only got four six things from the website this second thing I want to show you guys is the North North <gasps> next thing I want to show you guys is the Norvina palette I was just so excited about this palette I wanted to get the soft glam palette but it just did not it just it just didn't do it for me like I wanted it to just be like <gasps> when I saw it but it just it wasn't that it wasn't there we go Hi. this palette is just so much more me I love glitter I love shimmer uh, I, I can't get away from it every time I say it, I'm not gonna use it it's not going on my lid I lie to myself every time. Do I swatch first or do I not swatch first? We're going to passion, love, and base. That is a really pretty brown. I'm going to prime my lid with concealer. I'm going to use the Studio Pro Concealer by BH Cosmetic. This is in the shade 106. The next thing that I ordered online was this makeup revolution banana powder everybody has seen this i have never tried this i know a lot of people have tried this but i just wasn't i wasn't with the hype at the time so yeah i just i, I usually don't do stuff when everybody else does it i'm usually like either late or i just don't do it at all okay so my SD card was full. I had to put some stuff on my computer, but I set my eyes with the banana powder from Makeup Revolution, and I just did it just above my crease because I know I'm going to keep on going back with concealer or something just to make sure that this area down here doesn't crease. So, yeah, that is that. And I also got some new brushes so go ahead and get those out of here i got four new brushes i got two of the same brushes i believe yes i got the m510 i got two of the m510 i got one in the store and i got one online and then i also got the m330 yes the m330 and i also got the m441 so i actually used this one already this one right here i already used the 510 that's why it's a little red and this is what it looks like so i'm gonna take my morphe m510 brush and i'm going to dip into so i think i'm gonna go ahead and dip into the base color because my lids are already shockingly bright so not like it's gonna be that bad. I'm gonna go into the shade Incense, which is right here. So I'm just gonna pat this on. And I'll give you all the things that nobody can stand. Hurricane. Yeah. I want 
That's a pretty color. It's not really showing up on camera very well, but it is a pretty color. Now I'm going to be going in with the Morphe 330 brush, and it is the one with the pointed brush. And I think I'm going to go into Volatile, which is this one right here. And I think I'm going to mix it with a little bit of Passion. Volatile and passion. I'm going to swatch Dazzling Rose Gold and Wild Child because I don't know what I want in my inner corner. So Dazzling Rose Gold. Oh, that's creamy. Okay, so we're gonna go into Wild Child. So I am back. I did my foundation and concealer off camera because I didn't get anything new. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and set my concealer and all of that with some banana powder. But we're going to put this on a beauty blender and... I'm the realest, then they feel me. Killing on the rhythm, on the rhythm, then they feel me. I'm always all about my business. I got my business, and we never ever finish. She know be one to test in my style. Say she wanna throw the dice, body looking nice. From my hips down to her thighs. Then I look her in her eyes. One time, say she know one this time. Bad man. The next thing that I got is the 8C Cool Pro Blush Palette. There are eight shades. There are some shimmery shades and some matte shades in here. This is what it looks like. Just the plain black covering. And this is what the inside looks like. Now when I saw this on the website, I was thinking that the top would obviously be too light for me. So I was thinking that I would take the bottom ones and just like lightly tap into the top ones. So we're going to see how that goes. I'm going to take might be too big but i'm going to use it anyway i think i'm going to mix it girl with queen it's sexy it girl free hot queen drama ego and driven so i'm going to tap into queen and it girl kind of switch back and that's what it looks like on the brush this is the first time i'm trying this blush so say a prayer with me uh -huh. We can make it last, but right now we're both just mad, sorry. I just want to make you smile. I really miss. The next thing that I got is this Makeup Revolution highlighter, and this is in the color Unicorn Elixir. And I actually already used this one. That's why the letters are a little smudged off. This is what it looks like on the applicator. And then when you put it on, it turns into like this shiny purple. Okay, let me put on some mo so you guys can like see. There we go. It turns into like this shiny purple. It is so pretty. I absolutely love this. I'm gonna go in with that Morphe 510 brush, the one that I didn't use. I'm gonna pat into that. You can fold it off a little bit, but not as bad as it could be. It clumped on my hand, like right here and right here. 
turn it that way. It clumped here and here and in the middle there's just like a huge dip where it picked up some of its own product because the only thing that was on the back of my hand was this highlighter. There's a few places on my face where it did like do the same thing like there's some right here and there's some right here but I guess if you went over it with a powder it probably wouldn't be that bad. Uh, did the blush go away? No, the blush looks like it might be fine. I probably could go over that too. But I don't know why it clumped like that, which it did the same over here, which you guys probably can't see. So I think next time I use this, I'm probably, um, I don't know, maybe I'll put it on my face first because what I did was I put it on the back of my hand and then I took the brush and I kind of just like patted it. And then I put it on my face. I'm not sure if putting it directly on my face would make it better or worse. Maybe um, I should spread it out before I use it next time. I don't really know what that was. It didn't happen the first time I used it. Yeah, I used it two times before. It didn't do that, so I don't really know what that is. So I'm going to try and play with it and see if I can get it to work better. <laughs> but we're gonna go ahead and move on another thing that i got is a nyx lip liner in the color espresso and it's just like a dark brown or maybe like a muted brown it's pretty much like the same color as my lips so it's just a little bit lighter the next thing that i got is a lipstick by the brand models own and i think this is the new company because I don't, i've never heard of it before and i haven't really seen it around i wanted a red lipstick all the other lipsticks that i have it made it look like i made out with an apple or i don't know i just didn't like it i swatched this one in the store the tester and i liked it and i just decided to pick it up of course i didn't put it on my lips so i don't know how it's going to look on on me the name of this matte liquid lipstick is candy cane and it says on the boxes that it smooths over with a hint of mint and like it really smells like mint like it really smells like mint okay so the next thing that I got is a duo chromatic shimmer lip gloss by NYX and this is what it looks like I have one more thing to show you guys and that is this is a makeup remover and this is from the brand from the brand Clinique and I never really bought anything from Clinique I always thought it was something that older women use because I saw my grandma use it a lot she actually gave me a eye cream that I liked and I never could really find another one. Um, I didn't look to see if they had it at Ulta because I didn't think about it till like a few minutes ago. But yeah, I got a makeup remover and it is this right here. This is what it looks like right here. It's called Take Off The Day Makeup Remover by Clinique. I didn't even go on the Clinique side, but... When I was in the store and I was playing around with so much stuff, me and my cousin were literally putting our hands in everything, touching everything. We were like kids in a candy store pretty much. But we were putting our hands in everything and I had highlighter, lipstick, um, what else? Lip liner and a bunch of different things just all over both of my hands and I just looked crazy So I asked one of the workers there. I had asked him if there was Any makeup wipes to like get the stuff off of my hands. He said um, Like, you know, that's a lot of stuff on your hands I have just the thing for you and he took me over to the Clinique site and I was just thinking to myself like uh, Clinique Okay, but he picked up this which was was it already open he picked up this I guess it was already open in the uh like the try it section like over in the clinic section there was like a little table with like a bunch of stuff that you could just like try or whatever was that one no one of something on the clinic side was open I forgot what it was anyways he opens up the jar and he like puts it on the back of my hand 
rubs it in or no no he doesn't rub it in that's weird he puts it on the back of my hand and said here rubs this in and when I put this on it literally just like magically just took everything away it was moisturizing and everything and then he took a tissue and just like wiped it off my hand and gone lipstick gone highlighter gone lip liner where is it it was disappeared nothing and I was like with this I ain't no way I was walking out of that store without this I am buying this forever and always forever and always I will still use my makeup wipes I will still use my cleansing water and all of that but I, I am forever buying this I can't not have it like I'm gonna pretty much take everything that I just used well not everything but I'm gonna go back. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some of the go back down eyeliner. Not eyeliner. This is the brow pencil. I'm gonna put some of the brow pencil on the back of my hand. Some eyeshadow from the Modern Renaissance palette. So put some eyeshadow on here. Did I do a red? No red. Which this is swatching horribly, but. We're just about to take it off anyway, so it don't matter. Let's go into Juvia's place. Why not? We're testing. We're going to go into the purple. Let's go into the orange. Don't even have anywhere to put it. So here I have some eyeshadow from the Juvia's place Zulu palette here and here. Here I have Modern Renaissance by Anastasia Le Anastasia Beverly Hills here here and here this is the NYX brow pencil this is the NYX lip liner this is the NYX duochrome lipstick this is the model's own candy cane matte lipstick and this is the makeup revolution unicorn elixir highlighter now we're just going to take a little bit maybe like this much of the Clinique take off the day makeup remover I'm just gonna put that right here which that is kind of a lot I want to put some of that back Tell me that is not unbelievable. Tell me that this ain't the shit. Tell me you don't need this in your life. Like, y'all, gone, gone. And I wish you could feel like how soft this is. It's like a lotion. Like, it's so, it's like a moisturizer. I can't, I can't. Honestly, if you used maybe one or two makeup wipes, and then put this on you don't need anything else at least you shouldn't need anything else like this is insane I want to go buy two more of them but that's gonna be so much in one sitting but I love this it's amazing but anyways okay so that is it for this video you guys I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that you like some of the products that I got I hope that this video might have helped you if you wanted to get any of these items but make sure to like comment and subscribe and share this video with your friends and family and I will catch you guys in my next video stay blessed bye Stories I'm a fool for you